Good evening everyone. Welcome back to another story time with Elvis. I hope you enjoyed last week's story. <laughs> I didn't think that pinecone would ever escape. <laughs> Today's story is about lies. Have you ever told a lie, Molly? Yes. <laughs> but lies, as we'll see, are a bit like a basket of tiger cubs. <laughs> Harmless enough at first, but just try to control them once they've grown. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a man who was watching some sheep. He'd been watching those sheep for hours, and he thought it would be funny to tell a little lie. <laughs> Do you think that would be funny, Molly? No. <laughs> <laughs> so he said that there was a wolf come to get his sheep. Help! Help! There's a wolf! <laughs> There's a wolf! <laughs> Someone help! And all the village raced to help him. <laughs> but there was no wolf there, and they all went home very cross. The next day, <laughs> he made up another story. He said there was a leopard. Help! Help! There's a leopard! <laughs> There's a leopard out there! Come on, someone please help! And the whole village believed him. From that day forward, every day he made up a new animal. Help! Help! It's a slug! It's coming! Some crazy ones. A dragon. It's a dragon! It's breathing fire and it's so small, but it's a dragon and help! A T-Rex! It's a dinosaur! It's a T-Rex! His, his arms are small! It's weird! Please, someone, come! A dog! <laughs> help! It's a tiger with, um, with a snake's tail, with a bat's wings and a fish fingers! And every time the villagers believed him. Wasn't that a lovely story, Molly? <laughs> and the moral of the tale, children, is if you keep changing your lies, people will believe you every time. <laughs> That's how I got this job. Now, it's good night from me, it's good night from Molly, and it's good night from Elvis. <laughs> 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 Ha 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 ha!